Fortunately, you have help. An intelligence briefing led by physicist Richard Muller. Deep inside this atom is a tiny little thing called the nucleus. In this nucleus, you have all of the positive charge. Now, positive charge repels other positive charge, and so they're trying to fly apart. It's like a compressed spring, but it's held together by a latch we call the nuclear force. If that nuclear force is broken, then the two pieces lose that, and they go flying apart. This is nuclear fission, the key to the bomb's explosive force. It's this flying off that releases this enormous energy, it's a million times more than when an atom of TNT explodes. Remnants of the atom, the radiation, race out near the speed of light. When they fly off, they crash into other atoms. Typically, they just make the other atoms move too. This kind of motion is what we call heat. The heat is so intense, hotter than the surface of the sun, that it blasts outward at the speed of sound. This thing is now so hot that it just expands with enormous disruption. That's what an atomic bomb is. 